Helps if I turn the microphone on. So what's up? We are going to do some video editing on iRacing, or I should say some photo editing on iRacing. Had a few requests from some friends on the Team High Pre squad to uh, start looking at and how to get some images like you see on the screen. So um, I like to do photography, and I kind of sold photography gear Put more of the money back into sim racing and some other stuff and you know i still get the itch to get creative and work a creative mind and that's kind of how i deal with some things right sim racing you know the channel's name you know what i'm all about mental health and and keeping a good headset 
and mindset about things. So these are the things that I do. And the guys like the photos, so I figured um you know there was an ask and why not we go through so you know these are these are shots that were taken out of iRacing you can see the little iRacing logo down here on the right hand side so we'll talk about using the replays how to find a good angle how do you get these these kind of shots from it um it's gonna be like a two-part uh walkthrough here i'm not gonna be online for a terribly long time but i want to get through the basics some of the shortcut keys here that i have written down that I'll allow you to kind of do the same thing. Um, the nice thing about this is, uh, you know, part one, taking the photos, anybody can do it. If you're on iRacing and you're using the, you know, you're not, there's no more of the online, there's just the uh, user interface and the app, then you, anybody can do this, 100%. Now the images you see here on the screen you know, there was me going into Lightroom and tweaking them even further. Adobe Lightroom, you could do Photoshop. You could use any photo editing software. Obviously, Instagram, Facebook, they have all these filters that you can use. And you can kind of have your mind expand. And you can do different things. Um, and you'll see here in this latest photo I just pulled up, there is no eye racing in the bottom right. It's one step to just kind of get rid of background and logos if you really want to clean up the shot. So part one, we're going to open a replay. It's going to be a segment from our 24 hour race. Um, you know, these are practice runs. So the cars are really clean. This, uh, you know, the replay I'll be loading will be the end of our 24. So it's gonna be a dirty car, maybe some contacts and scruffs and stuff like that. But that's, you know, that's racing. It's the end of the 24 hour Le of Le Mans Daytona. Uh, which I think so many of us were were doing this week. So it'll be the first time I go through that footage too. So you'll also kind of see me naturally kind of look for for an opportunity here. Um, but you know the the post processing thing. You know anybody can do that too now. Um, I don't. The one big thing is just try, see what you come up with. Um, you know in this this image, you know you can get the sun to pop. The filter might do that. So there's a lot of good opportunities to kind of just do what you want to do. So why don't we get right into it and we're going to go and we're going to go right into the iRacing, right into your replays. And what we'll do is we're going to launch the last uh, replay that I saved, which was obviously the, you know, us completing me logging in the last two hours of our 24 hours of Daytona. So we're going to launch this thing up, see how long it takes to go. And um, hopefully we don't spend too much time loading here. Um, but like I said, it's a little bit of a walkthrough and uh, we'll kind of get through it. So let's let that do its thing. I'm going to hop on Facebook real quick and see if anybody's chit-chatting. And this way I can kind of kind of see my chat windows here. And I don't, I'm not using two monitors right now. I'm just uh, trying to keep it simple some degree but i do have a little tablet here which is nice so that helps me kind of see what's going on and uh yeah i can type back to people and we can do a little q a too so if some q a comes up that'd be sweet i don't really expect it honestly um this video is really meant to be a tutorial that people might like and then certainly my team is going to use so why not just make it friendly for everybody? All right. So right off the bat, I'm just going to pause it right here. The first thing I do is look for opportunity for good shots. And we're going to use a lot of times the blimp to look for a good shot. Now, what's a good shot? TV one and TV two. Obviously, they give you these angles where you could you can quickly kind of go and, and take an image from these point of views and do just a quick screenshot, right? You can certainly see one that we like, probably the bus stop, right? We're going to come up to the bus stop here. He's getting his tires warm. And any of these shots would be a great shot coming through the bus stop. Just for your novice wanting to get pictures of your event. 
but I'm going to take you right to the, to the, to what I do. And we're going to go back to this blimp view. And what we're looking for is accurate, actually leveraging another car in one of these uh, viewing angles. And then because that gives you these low angle, you can zoom in, you can get the, the composition that you want. In this case, the sun's pretty high, so we don't have any kind of what I call the golden hour where the sun sets there and it's real low and it looks real nice. So what we're gonna do is, what we're gonna do first, because it's been so long since I've streamed, we're gonna check to make sure my audio is working because that would be a very intelligent thing for me to do. Let's, uh, let's make sure my audio is working before I go too far in this. Audio is working, okay, good. All right, so we're gonna go back and stay in this kind of blimp mode. Now, the reason why I like to do this is because you can just scroll as fast as you want through this sucker and get to a point where there's some activity. Now, if you have race labs up and things like that, you'll get the race map, but it doesn't take too long for you to kind of see some activity. So we got a group three car. Now here's a good, here's a good spot. Now we can use these little frame spots here to kind of line up where you're hitting an apex. But this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go click the driver in front, which is Bastion. And we're gonna use Bastion's car to take an image. So in this case, Rory's on his left rear suspension. And now all of a sudden you're going to get an angle of Rory. Now you get all this other stuff. And this would this would be a good shot in itself, right? So like, you can hit spacebar. You could go hit your screenshot and go from there. So spacebar will get you on and off. So here's the here's the controls you need to know. Spacebar. Let the UI go up and down. Other thing is control page up and page down. Good reason for that. When you let go of the spacebar, you get the big iRacing logo. No doubt, iRacing, everybody knows who iRacing is. In fact, most people will know from your images you're taking an iRacing picture. But you can hit Control, Page Down, and the iRacing logo goes very small. And that'll really help your editing later. You can also crop your photo in any software. And now you've gotten nothing kind of distracting. One thing to note, though, your whole, it, it does change your whole user interface. So, you know, you can hit space bar, but again, control page up, control page down. That's going to change that for you. This works in game too. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit nice, but the, the nice thing about this is you're going to get this great angle. All right. So those are the, the kind of common things you're going to do between UI, just hiding it, control page up, making it bigger, control page down, making it smaller. Now, the other nice thing you're going to do is hit Control F12. Control F12 gives you this whole bunch of camera data. And this is where the magic happens. So this is a, an image of Rory. I believe it's Rory the stint. See, Yep, it's Rory. Rory's one of our fast boys. In fact, the whole team is fast now. Watch out for Hypri. We're coming for you. So what we're going to do is get used to these controls. So first of all, you can do static at car and at group static. Now this is going to change this camera setting for the entire time you're watching this replay. I haven't quite figured out how to kind of reset it. Sometimes I kind of just put like a dash one on there so that they, you'll get sometimes a different name for it. Now what we're going to do is get used to the controls. So the X kind of like a shift of your perspective. All right. You'll notice the Y is moving. All these are about angles. Y. You're going left and right. I figured that would have been X, horizontal, Y is vertical on your axis. Z is rotation and up and down. So you're gonna go up and down with Z. Why is this so important? Just these controls, because you're shifting your perspective and shifting your perspective allows you to change what we call the composition of your photo, the cold composition of what you're looking at. Then you've also got here your orientation Y which is rotation. So you can kind of look at the ask the your subject, uh, change the pivot point, if you would. P, you might have figured it out, goes orientation up and down. So these are your ups and downs, left and rights. Now roll is what that is. 
R is rolling. So if you want some kind of nice attacking the apex picture, you can do that. So the next big piece of this element is your field of vision. So your field of view will let you zoom in. So when you zoom in, oh no, Rory's not there. What do I do? Well, we're going to rotate this one. Now all of a sudden, this has turned into a shot of Rory attacking the apex. You got a little group three car in the background. You got some fans. This is now becoming something that looks good. We get out of the space bar. That, my friends, is a good photo. Could it be better? Absolutely. We could keep playing with this forever. But that's all you need to do. That is the element of it. There's no, there's no breaking the game. There's no destroying your replay. There's no ever getting back to this. It is this fundamentally easy for anybody to do when you're in the iRacing replay. I'm not even going to get anything more complex than that. Again, I hit spacebar. I got rid of the UI. I'm going to throw a page down there. Now, I could take a picture. It's kind of rule of thirds photography. You kind of don't want to just put Rory in the middle. It's not really a great image just to put the subject in the middle. But what we'll do is pitch this up. Puts him in the third. <clears throat> now you could get a little bit more uh, creative and kind of pitch him over here, roll it back over. But I, you know, honestly, I kind of like seeing the car. And you could also lower it down to give it a little bit more of that mean mug, right? So now you got a little bit. Yeah, kind of want to take it back over here. Now we're getting back into that thirds. But it is that easy to make this picture kind of kind of pop. Last piece of it, yeah, if you want to put some roll onto it, make the car look like it's leaning in, kind of attacking, you can do that. Rory, bad boy, you're about to cut that, maybe get a 1X. I don't know, we'll see. We're going to put that UI down. And there it goes, the UI is down. The last piece to do this is I recommend taking an iRacing photo. Since iRacing is you know, not a screenshot of your screen, um, iRacing will have all the detail that goes into your logos and things like that. I don't want any kind of compression from your screen and things like that. And sometimes I, I do find that. So that's a little bit longer of a shortcut, which is Control, Alt, Shift, and S. So Control, Shift, Alt, S. And that is going to take a screen grab for you. So what we'll do is I'm going to hit Alt, Enter, and that'll get us to staying our folders. That gets it out of that full screen view. Alt, Enter. And we're going to go to Documents and make sure that shortcut worked. Documents is where iRacing will save your replays. You got all your replay files. If anybody wants to send it to you, you just pop it in here and it'll go to the UI. We'll go back to iRacing and Screenshots, and there it is. There's the photo we just took. Now, that's, that's it. That's step one. You could crop this down in whatever editing software you have. I mean, well, I, I haven't even used this. Let's just use this. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I can lock the crop, but we'll, we'll try to hold shift key. All right, there you go. It's cropped. <laughs> no, no iRacing logo. You didn't mess up with anything. Let's do an adjustment. Uh, let's bring the exposure down a little bit. It's a little too much. Let's add some contrast by bringing the shadows down. There's, there's always kind of this graying of blacks. I do, I do like to pull the shadows down a little bit. Add a, not too much highlight. Overall brightness, eh, no, not feeling it. Um, but you know, there's always a little bit good of vignette. You don't know oh, that's the anyway, don't go that way. It kind of puts a little pop. It's we didn't do much, but I'll, I'll tell you what looks good. I, I've never used any of this. And then, like I said, put some whatever you want to do with your whatever editing software you have. Have fun with it. That's actually pretty cool. A little, little over the top. So. But. That's it. That's what we did. I'm going to save this in my iRacing folder. I'm not going to put it in my edit edits. But there you go. That is as simple as it needs to be to make an image.
from iRacing and make it pretty epic. So that's pretty cool. Big fan of that. Yeah, Nick, it's a tutorial. For, I'm kind of walking through all that. So that's, uh, that's, <laughs> I mean, it's literally, what are we like, 10 minutes in this thing? And that that's how I do it. So, you know, I did nothing different besides part two of this, which would be if you want to take a quick visual into Lightroom with me. But this is where all these photos came from, which was the same process of taking an angle off of another car to get that kind of low set, moving fast composition I want. Don't recommend drifting in the bus stop unless you want to have a brown pants moment. But looks cool. But yeah, all these shots came from that. It's just something I like to do. This is Golden Hour. Golden Hour gives you that beautiful sunset, a lot of color that you can play with, and you can have a good time. So let's keep going. Let's go make a couple more shots. Let's see what we got. Hey, Eddie, no problem. This is the whole point of this. I thought it would be pretty good to do this, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stoked to actually do it. And I'm also happy that I made this thing work because normally I kind of fudge up my... my uh... <laughs> I kind of make an issue of it. So again, control page up. We'll get our UI back up so where I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. And what we can do is then we're going to go back to that blimp mode. You can now, because this will show, you can kind of, oh, no. You can hit escape. It's going to get rid of that, right? So just bring that back up. Control F12. You hit escape and, there, and then it goes away for the, um, the camera angle. So we're going to go back up. We're going to see if there's any intense moments for Rory here where it's like a, an oh crap moment or he's in traffic, right? Those are the really cool shots. My, my favorite, everybody's favorite is bus stop in turn one to get a good shot, especially with the golden hour stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna get back to Roy cause right now we're on Bastion. And we're gonna move this needle forward. Try to track it. Well, maybe we'll slow it down so I can take a sip of my favorite uh, kind of creative motivator, the brew. Looks like he's coming into traffic here shortly. So there he goes around the bus stop again. And let's see. He buzzes somebody right there. Now let's see if we got what our TV1 or TV2. Let's see what we got. Uh, ooh, this would be pretty pretty dope I don't know if we're going to get it to work but if I got hit Rory next to a car right here this would look pretty well, let's have some fun with this what we're here for so we're going to go we're going to not do it group we're going to change to static or you can do at car and that'll focus it. See what happens is certain things that you for aim type gets rid of these other. It's it's gonna pivot on the car. I like to use static because then it opens up everything. Um, but yeah, we don't care about any of that. But I will do another dash one, hoping that I don't overwrite this. So let's uh like that comment, Eddie. Thank you very much, sir. So let's go. Let's let's start zooming in right away. Oh uh, yeah, look at these reflections. What we're going to do is we're going to do what we talked about earlier. We're going to pivot. Move this thing over. We're going to pivot. This beautiful high pre. Some race city. I'm going to slide it back over. I feel like I'm a episode of Friends. Pivot. 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 Just want to get that kind of three quarter look. Now you're going to max out. Eventually you do max out. They don't give you all these degree of rotations but not on every setting. So I'm starting to like this. We get the high pre logo, we got the sim race city. I'm very big on like three quarter angles. I want to make sure I get kind of three spaces or four sides of the vehicle. Now what we can do is we can also go underneath the ground. Don't recommend going under the ground. There's groundhogs down there. They're mean, be very mean. Now we can also rotate this up so you're looking up the bank. I think is a cool angle. And then you can make it look like a rocket ship. Really accentuate that bank. Because it is a big banky boy. 
Now, this is probably the only time I would put the car in the middle of the subject because of the fact that we're going to try to get as much detail on the car as we can. Not a big fan of shots like this, but this is a good area of reflection. You can do a lot with it in post. Um, let's see what this looks like in the space bar. It's okay. It's not, it's not the best. Um, you know, but... It's doable. We can make work with this. So what I will do is let me actually get this back to full screen mode. Oh, I ruined it. It's not going to go back into full screen. OK, no big deal. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to take that. You know, remember your your shortcuts for screenshot. So it's control alt shift S. And we'll have that for later. So hit that space bar, get the UI back up. And then what we'll do is we'll go back and we're going to change to see if we get different. See what happens though? Now. <laughs> Let's see, TV3 went back as it shifted to a number of portion of the track. So there we go. We're going to go back up to Blimp. We're going to see what else we got. Oh, hold on. What do we have there? Got a car off track, a car rejoining. We don't have a car in front of Rory. This will be something that we'll get to here shortly. But it would be a good shot for Rory. So well, let's watch one of these things. So now we're going to use Rory to take a picture of somebody else. So imagine this is one of your dudes that got into a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go off Rory's gearbox. We're going to go back some frames. And we're going to check his right rear suspension. See what we see. And we're just looking for angles. That's a good angle. All right, so we're going to have an LMP2 car coming over. Definitely made a mistake. Group 3 got stuck behind him. Could have been a brown pants moment for them. We're gonna do the same process here. Control F12, bring up this. It's already on static, which is great. We're gonna bring this field of view right over here. Don't mind it quite yet. We're gonna bring it up. We're gonna rotate it. Oh, and you see what I see, right? Got some helmets. Some good stuff going on here. This is going to be a good one. We're going to zoom in on him a little bit more. Now you got this battered LMP2 being chased by this very clean Group th GT3 911. Let's just take a minute to look at this. Oh, that looks good. All right, so we're going to rotate it a little bit more. We're going to try to slide this over a little bit. Get a little bit more of that Porsche, which also helped me rotate this over. We're gonna roll it a little bit. I'm gonna roll it like they're attacking. Just I don't like flat images. Never have, never will. Just makes it more aggressive. I'm gonna come in here a little bit tighter. I'm gonna roll back more to the right. Get that kind of centered in. Might be a little bit too aggressive because you want some space for any cropping and anything else you want to do. You can also manually type in here. So like those clicks weren't exactly where I want them. That felt good. All right. Now that. Pretty rad. Pretty rad. We can make magic with this. You got the headlights. I'm going to do some creative stuff here. So we're going to switch over to part two here shortly. I'm going to bring this UI down. I'm going to take that screenshot, control shift, alt S. I'm going to bring the UI back up. And um, maybe look for one more. Let's go, let's go back to that, that blimp cam. And let's see what Roy's got going on. See if he gets uh, any trouble. 
In our field, by this point, two hours left, a lot of people dropped. It was a shame. You know, a shame. The rank of my, oh, all right. Got pretty warm and fuzzy with this guy. So we're going to give what I call the hero shot. So the hero shot, kind of like what we did before, Rory. Looks like you got a little wiggles there, too. A little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, so we're going to go back to our friend here in front of Rory. We're going to use his gearbox, and you can already tell what this is going to look like. It's going to be awesome. So you got a little air time. <laughs> Rory with some air time. All right, so now we're going to roll back over here. Whole front wheels. Look at this. Wheel in the air. What are you doing, Rory? <laughs> We're going to zoom in on Rory doing some airtime. We're going to bring it up a little. We're going to bring this way down for Rory's airtime. Get right down on that ground. See, right there, you lose the fidelity, so you can't really stay there. It just doesn't look right. We'll pop up. Get some of it back. Yeah, see, now that now it's still a little grainy over here, but not tragic. Not great. Not tragic. We're going to. Make Rory look like he's coming in to jump through your screen here shortly. Motivate it back up here. And just slide it over some more. And there's Rory Airborne. Front two wheels off the ground. Look at that. Both wheels in the air. I think both wheels in the air. It's kind of hard to tell. Gonna control de page down, make the UI go down. Control shift alt S. And there we have it. We're gonna go back to our iRacing photos, the screenshots that it took. And there we have it. So in that short bit of time here that we've been streaming, uh what, what how long are we even going on here? Don't even know. Alright. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to part two. All right, so a reminder on part one. You're going to be page up, page down for your UI. All right, control F12 for your camera controls. Control shift alt S for your screenshot. All right, so those are the, the elements. Everything else was exactly what we've just been doing for the last 10 to 15 minutes, which is just finding a good image. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to quit out of here. We're going to go to these images. And we're just going to go edit maybe two in, in a Lightroom. So I, if I can actually do open with Lightroom last time it wasn't working. I want Lightroom classic at that Lightroom. Not a big fan of these uh, web-based stuff. So we're going to go into Lightroom. Use the power of Lightroom. And we're going to bring in some of these images from the catalog. The Lightroom's real simple. That's why I like it. It's like one of those ones where you kind of... It's not simple. I mean, Adobe likes to complicate everything a little bit. Can be a little bit overwhelming. But it's not... not the worst. So we're gonna go into our library. We're gonna go into screenshots here and we're gonna refresh that. All 
Where's our new picture? That should have synced our picture. There we go. All right. So we're gonna just develop this one. So we're gonna start here. So a lot of softwares will make your life easier by having a healing brush. So we're not gonna do any presets. Get the presets. We're just gonna go do what most apps can do, which is Get rid of the eye racing. Boom, done. Great. Now we're gonna get the exposures. We're gonna make this thing a little bit darker. Here a little bit. Like I said, I don't like the way the eye racing does its black, so I always pull the blacks down. Everybody loves a little clarity in their life, some direction, some clarity. We're gonna increase the highlights a little bit. And what I like to do is then I do I like to kind of do some grading to just kind of give it this kind of sunny silhouette kind of a feel. Because we got that light source off to the side. Add a little little hue. I like some color grading to make it look a little bit more like film if you're doing something too creative. What we're going to do is we're going to, for me, I'm going to add a linear gradient, create the gradient, going to accentuate sun from the left for me, pull it up, creates a much more dramatic image, I'm going to hue it a little bit to that sun, that little golden color, you can actually click a color to really make it pronounced if you wanted to. A lot of yellow in these cars, so it complements it pretty well. We're gonna see if we can make these. We're gonna add a trans a little bit for these headlights here. See if we can make this kind of a little bit brighter, not too overbearing. Bring them down it's too much. Take it high, it's gonna take everything up. Um, we could also maybe make the driver kind of that helmet kind of a little bit brighter. A little focus on the driver there. Not much, just a little tweak. Last things we could do. You know, there's a nice car in the background. You know, it's just kind of give it that vignette. And you start to get this more dramatic image, right? Kind of make this damage look even worse by really increasing the clarity on that stuff. And I don't, I'm not totally a fan of it. I don't like to overdo clarity. Kind of know when people are doing it. But it really makes that rough now. But also make those blacks a little bit more black. Now I'll kind of make it more like the paint came off. Kind of a little bit of focus, but see where I'm going here, right? And you can really start making these images kind of, kind of really pop. So kind of can see the before and after here. I remember how to do that. Mm. Oh, I don't know what I did. I don't need this. So before and after of what we got. So pretty cool. Get to have a little bit of fun. Certainly more dramatic now. A little bit more flavor. A little bit more pop. Didn't take too much time. Got rid of the iRacing logo. Put a little bit of focus on some things. And that's kind of what we got. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I know I did been a good time. I'm hoping y'all learned some things here. 
hope I gave you some knowledge on some things that'll help you. And, um, you know, let's, uh, you know, show me if, uh, show me some pictures. Show me what you got. I'm going to export this into that I rate my, my folder of edits. I keep all these things here. I'd love to see what you've taken after this. So this is the new photo. And this was the original photo. Nope. Uh, where's it got? Screenshots, there we are. So you got your, your after on the left and your before on the right. Tell me what you think. I hope this was very useful. I hope you can uh, find some creative edge here when you go to look at taking some my racing photos and, and give you and your team something to, to go back and, and look at and have some fun. I figure the timing of this is very well after the Daytona 24. Plenty of people are going to go back and check out some screenshots and and check out how things and, and share some things on social media. So, you know, have some fun with that. Enjoy it. Talk to you guys soon. Be on the racetrack. Be well. See y'all. Stay out of trouble. Get in some. Don't get caught. I don't know. Just don't do bad things. Have fun.